What do you want? One of my tours, or? Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Yeah. Uh, tonight we've got a couple of great performers for you. Well, the overall vision really was to to, to create a performing art art space where we could we could have a variety of different types of music in a listening atmosphere where people could come in for an hour and a half and enjoy a show and then go out to a bar and do whatever they want. I'm Steve Hawkins. Um, this is Fusion. <laughs> um, it's a nonprofit performing arts space, fully volunteer staffed. We're doing um, community events, um, kids karaoke, all sorts of things. So it's it's a pretty wide range of stuff. Some stuff's free, some stuff we you know we have to charge for because that's what pays the artists. Right. We do record everything like I said, I use a capture program with a personas board. We're multi-track recording, getting some fabulous recordings in here. Plus I'm videotaping it with the single camera right now till we get the other system set up. I am a musician so I'm a performer so I'm involved with the music. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good to see you. You too, how are you doing? This building we've renovated to its original state pretty much except for the sound equipment and lighting and everything. It, it had painted white ceilings. These are the original ceilings. It had fluorescent lights down the middle. It had underlayment that was nailed down probably with 10,000 nails. Seating capacity is 80 comfortably in here. We have had over 90 in here kind of crammed in for some of our comedy shows. So we exposed the brick and then we found that the, that chair rail was there and that made us not expose the brick all the way down to the floor. So a friend of mine, Mark Anderson, made this chair rail to match. And how to really see that all these boxes, well, they're just options. And that's all. sorts of performances here from live music, puppet shows, poetry readings. Uh, we have a tap dance show coming up. We have open mics for comedy. And th this is another artist space. We use it right now as a green room so people can come up here and hang out before the show. We're starting to get contacted by national artists. We've had uh, John Langford from Chicago. Um, who's had national success. Some of the ones that we've had out of Nashville have been Cody Canada and The Departed who used to front Cross Canadian Ragweed which was a fairly large, um, had a pretty big fan base. Uh, Courtney Patton, Jason Eady, um, we just had the Crooks in from Austin. I'm going to play a song by uh, Doc Watson. We do serve beer, wine, soda, no liquor. We're in the process of our getting our beer garden open. We're hoping to have another stage out here in a week. It's gonna be another 10 by 15 foot stage with a canopy. We're gonna have another bar back here. I, I bought the building in um, the end of October in 2013. Um, and I have some pretty drastic pictures of what it was like. The whole backyard was just filled with debris. When we do the editing here before we send it out over the World Wide Web, this is where it's gonna happen. Now it's kinda like our dining room table because we're not quite done with it. The Don spent a weekend here building all this. This will get all insulated because we want isolation from the room upstairs, so. There's 13 tons of crushed granite in here. A friend of mine um, runs a bobcat and he came in and pulled it all out in about an hour and a half or maybe even an hour. We installed all of this with about three or four different people in less than a day. What we did up here is we divided this into four different spaces. Painted it, repaired it, added new carpet. We have a 120 inch screen that comes down along with a projector. We've got full backline equipment, drums, guitar amps, bass amps. In, in September, we'll probably have our first little outdoor festival with probably six or seven bands.
it's such a it's a nice intimate venue, and uh, uh, and it it sounded great. Um, they certainly dialed it in really nicely. I, I definitely I, I gotta talk to Don and play here again. <laughs> it was it was it was definitely a lot of fun. I mean, if somebody wanted to rent it for, um, let's say, somebody wanted to do a seminar or presentations, it's available during the day because we do have all the AV and sound equipment. So if somebody wanted to do teaching seminars and that sort of thing, uh, that could be used, it could be used for that. Uh, I wrote this when I was 16 or so. Uh, it's called The Rain. I was, I was just thinking about it because we were sitting out there and it started to rain. I, I usually don't play it when I feel like it might rain, but we're inside, so what does it matter? It's an extraordinary thing for Kenosha. It's a wonderful sounding room. It's a great audience. It's it's one of the nicer sounding rooms I've played recently. I, I play 75 to 100 shows a year, and this was a really, really nice sounding room. Um, and they treat you well here, too, which is really important. From an artist's perspective, this is the gig that you want. Um, from an audience perspective, I think this is the kind of show I would like to come to. Um, yeah, it's, it's a great great thing and I hope it keeps going for a long, long time.